Backyard Bee Builder here. Today I wanted to go over how to clean your smoker. Um, and now there's a few different ways you can do this and one of the ways is actually to use a blow torch to kind of try to burn off some of the, the soot and stuff that's inside of your smoker. Um, the problem with having a lot of soot in your smoker is that after a while of using it, it starts to kind of block off the entrance and so it goes out easier or it doesn't smoke as well as it did when it was new. You can get a little bit better shot on Mother Pretty, so is just the build up in here is really, really thick. So here's another smoker, and this one hasn't been burned yet. I've j it's just opened up just as is. And I wanted to see with just using a wire brush if it would do the same amount. So let's give it a try. So you were using a wire brush to clean it doesn't seem to get it off as well as, as melting it. It's definitely harder to get off. successful so let's warm it up and see if that'll help things. As you warm it up, it really starts to melt it down. And even when I'm not burning it, you can see that it's just lit it right on fire to where it's just burning it out. Just be really careful when you're doing this that you don't heat up the leather on your smoker too much. I like to heat it up and just kind of keep it burning so that it really just turns it into ash. that's burned down you can just take a wire brush and just go at it. Make sure that you use a leather glove because it gets very very hot. Make sure you get this top edge really good because that's what makes it difficult to open and shut. Now I've used bigger brushes on it and that kind of gets the job done quicker, but it's kind of hard to get the corners. So it's, I like to have a couple different sizes when I'm cleaning it out just so I can scrape the edges really well. Another way that I find useful for cleaning out it out, especially for the inside of it, because when you're using a propane torch and you stick it down inside of the smoker, it tends to put it out because there's not enough oxygen for it to run. So what I like to do is I'll actually start a fire inside my smoker. Um, now typically when you do this, it will, um, you'll close it down and it'll just smother. But if you leave it open and let it burn really hot and just keep it going for a while, it's going to heat that up um, hotter than what it's used to and it will burn off a lot of that uh, creosote in there that um, it hasn't burned off other times. So I'll just keep that burning for a while and then we'll go through and smoke it will go through and scrape it out. Um, if you keep it pumped, that's really gonna get it really hot um, and help, help burn that off really well. So that was my tutorial on cleaning smokers and I hope you learned something. I did want to mention something too that um, I have seen some people that will actually use chemicals to clean the soot out of their smokers and I wouldn't actually recommend that because you don't know what kind of residue is left in the smokers and then when you're burning it, that out and uh, blowing smoke over the top of your bees, um, you don't know if they're, you know, what kind of reaction that'll have. So I really just like burning it out and it seems to work pretty well that way. Um, if you want to get really picky, you can use some steel wool to kind of get it a little bit cleaner. But really, you're just trying to get the build off off of the smoker so that it will burn better. And um, it seems to work really well. So I hope you enjoyed my video. This is the Backyard Bee Builder. Hope to see you next time. Bye.